Weinberger. Secretary of Defense. We don't see Mr. Admiral Poindexter. A high administration official told CBS News earlier today that Poindexter had been fired. We expect the President to tell us why and Attorney General Meese to provide the explanation that his... Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. There he is. Come on. There he is. Last Friday, after becoming concerned whether my national security apparatus had provided me with a security or a complete factual record with respect to the implementation of my policy toward Iran, I directed the Attorney General to undertake a, undertake a review of this matter over the weekend and report to me on Monday. And yesterday, Secretary Meese provided me and the White House Chief of Staff with a report on his preliminary findings. And this report led me to conclude that I was not fully informed on the nature of one of the activities undertaken in connection with this initiative. This action raises serious questions of propriety. I've just met with my national security advisors and congressional leaders to inform them of the actions that I'm taking today. Determination of the full details of this action will require further review and investigation by the Department of Justice. Looking to the future, I will appoint a special review board to conduct a comprehensive review of the role and procedures of the National Security Council staff in the conduct of foreign and national security policy. I anticipate receiving the reports from the Attorney General and the special review board at the earliest possible date. Upon the completion of these reports, I will share their findings and conclusions with the Congress and the American people. Although not directly involved, Vice Admiral John Poindexter has asked to be relieved of his assignment as Assistant to the President for National Security Affairs and to return to another assignment of the Navy. Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North has been relieved of his duties on the National Security Council staff. I am deeply troubled that the implementation of a policy aimed at resolving a truly tragic situation in the Middle East has resulted in such controversy. As I've stated previously, I believe our policy goals toward Iran were well-founded. However, the information brought to my attention yesterday convinced me that in one aspect, implementation of that policy was seriously flawed. While I cannot reverse what has happened, I'm initiating steps, including those I've announced today, to assure that the implementation of all future foreign and national security policy initiatives will proceed only in accordance with my authorization. Over the past six years, we've realized many foreign policy goals. I believe we can yet achieve, and I intend to pursue, the objectives on which we all agree, a safer, more secure, and stable world. And now, I'm going to ask Attorney General Meese to brief you. Do you still maintain that you make a mistake, Mr. President? Hold it. Did you make a mistake in sending arms to Tehran, sir? No, and I'm not taking any more questions in just a second. I'm going to ask Attorney General Meese to brief you on what we presently know of what he has found out. Is anyone else going to be let go, sir? Is anyone else going to be let go? Secretary Schultz. No one was let go. They chose to go. What about Secretary Schultz, Mr. President? What about Secretary Schultz, sir? Can you give Secretary Schultz a vote of confidence if you feel that way? May I give you, Attorney General Meese? And who's going to run that sir? Mr. President, what the flaw is? Well, you That's what, what I'm going to say. What, is, what, what it's all wrong? about. Why, why, why don't I? Why don't I tell you what what is the situation, and then I'll take your questions. On Friday afternoon, or Friday at noon, the president asked me to look into and bring together the facts uh, concerning the, uh, particularly the implementation of the strategic initiative in Iran, and uh, more precisely, anything pertaining to the transfer of arms. Uh, over the weekend, uh, this inquiry was conducted. 
This, uh, yesterday evening, I reported to the President. Uh, we continued our inquiry, and this morning, the President directed that we make this information immediately available to the Congress uh, and to the uh, public through this medium at this noon. Uh, let me say that all...
And Ed Meese, in looking the Justice Department, looking into everything to make sure that everything we did was legal and we weren't doing anything against the Congress's laws, came across something that he told me about uh, yesterday morning that he thought should be looked into. He had found out about it Friday, and then he pursued it. And yesterday afternoon, late afternoon, he told me that he had discovered that some of the shipments, the Israelis, had gotten the money to pay us, but they had kind of played middleman and they'd raised the price to the Iranians. And the excess money, however, they weren't being crooked for themselves, the excess money over and above the price they gave us and we'd put on the weapons, they put in a Swiss bank account that is in the name of the leaders of the countries. And that money was then forwarded to the Congress. Now, all this was taking place before 